Hello there, welcome to Pets A Plenty. Today on the channel, we'll be telling you all about the Clumber Spaniel, the biggest of the American Kennel Club's flushing spaniels. A devoted and caring companion shows loyalty by being content with whether you're indoors or outside. This breed enjoys work and fun, respectively. This video takes you into the fantastic world of the Clumber Spaniel. Before we continue though, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. Starting off with the Dog Breed History the Clumber Spaniel is a flushing and retrieving spaniel that originates from France. The romantic myth behind the Clumber's history is that during the French Revolution, the French Duke de Noailles transferred his whole kennel of spaniels to the Duke of Newcastle in England to rescue his cherished pets. A 1788 portrait by the Duke of Newcastle, taken a year before the French Revolution, displays him with six white and lemon dogs that plainly resemble today's Clumber. The Spaniels get their name from the Duke's estate in Nottingham, Clumber Park. Regardless of how they arrived there, the Duke's gamekeeper, William Mansell, is credited with molding the breed into what it is today. They even had a royal supporter in Edward, Prince of Wales, later Edward VII. He housed them in his Sandringham House estate. There isn't much proof of this, but what we know for a fact is that the first Clumber Spaniel was transported into North America in 1844 by by a British commander stationed in Nova Scotia, Canada, Lieutenant Venables. The first Clumber Spaniel Club of America registration, Bustler, was in 1878. However, the Clumber Spaniel Club of America was not formed until 1972. The Clumber Spaniel was one of the earliest breeds to be shown in dog shows, and its popularity continues to grow in the area. This uncommon breed is ranked 121st out of 155 in the AKC recognized breeds and variations. Description Of course, the Clumber is a sweet, gentlemanly companion and a funny buddy for those who can tolerate some shedding and drool. Its massive head Solid bulk and low torso is typically characterized as a dog that plods about with little speed, energy, and agility. Have you ever seen a breed with a large head, dark amber eyes, and medium length white coat with yellow or orange markings? Spot on. That's the Clumber. He's a sluggish worker, but has strength, endurance, and passion. As the heaviest spaniel breed, this medium sized dog has a lengthy body, muscular frame, and huge feet that let him maneuver through underbrushes. Clumbers are friendly and laid back at home, but these earthy guys can be obnoxious about fragrance. Clumbers range in height from 17 to 21 inches and weigh between 55 and 85 pounds. The Clumber Spaniel has two coats, a thick undercoat and a fantastic outer coat, resistant to any weather. The coat usually is flat and straight with weathering on the ears, chest, legs, and tail. The coat is primarily white with occasional lemon or orange patterns. Personality one unique trait of the Clumber is that its demeanor varies from quiet to loving and aristocratic, which is interesting. The breed is always alert and quick to warn you of impending danger. However, they are not indiscriminate barkers. He is known for being sweet and kind, yet they can also be stubborn and self-willed, mainly because they like having their way. Instead, set and enforce specific guidelines so your Clumber understands what you want and expect at any time. It is advisable to establish establish your authority early enough or else they might become possessive. While you're at it, be kind yet tough. Bear in mind that too much of everything will make them sink their claws deeper. Socialization and Training like other breeds, the Clumber requires early socialization. It ensures that your Clumber puppy develops into a well-rounded dog. Being exposed to various people, places, sounds, and experience while they're young goes a long way. Here's a quick tip. When planning to adopt a Clumber, note that one significant move is to meet at least one of the parents of the pup, generally the mother. This will help clear your doubts and confirm that they have pleasant personalities with whom you will be comfortable with. It will 
will also help you determine what a puppy will be like as he grows up. Puppies with good temperaments are lively and eager to approach and be held by humans, so choose wisely. Clumbers, bright and keen to please, respond well to instruction. On the other hand, apprehensive clumbers are amiable dogs that bark only when they have something to say, making them ineffective watchdogs. The breed may sometimes acquire negative tendencies, such as chewing, fridge raiding, and counter surfing. There's no need to worry as this is entirely natural. If you have little children, understand that they can reach your child's high chair if they can reach a kitchen counter. They are capable of taking food from little children, so can find them while your youngster is eating. That's why they're often referred to as scavenger spaniels. Correct these habits as soon as possible. Prevent your clumber from breaking into the pantry, keep food and garbage out of its reach, and install kid locks on cupboards if needed. When you see him chewing on anything he shouldn't, take it away quietly and replace it with a firm chew toy. Enrolling him in puppy kindergarten is a terrific place to start. Crate training is an excellent tool for assisting with house training. It also serves as a secure haven for your clumber spaniel when you're away. In addition, inviting guests over regularly and bringing him to busy parks, stores that accept dogs, and on leisure strolls can help him improve his social skills. Feeding the importance of food in an animal's life cannot be overemphasized. Dogs, like humans, do not need the same quantity of food. It says that an active dog will need more than an inactive one. The amount of food your adult dog takes is determined by his size, age, build, metabolism, and activity level. It's also important to note that feeding goes hand in hand with hygiene. The quality of dog food you also purchase matters. The better the dog food, the farther it will go toward feeding your dog, and the less of it you will need to shake into your dog's bowl. Two to two and a half cups of high-quality dry food each day split between two meals is the recommended daily quantity. These are pretty much it for our tips for feeding your clumber. We advise, however, that you always talk to your vet about the quantity and quality of your dog's food depending on its age and size. Caring and Grooming Clumber Spaniels are moderate to heavy shedders. Brushing their hair daily is essential for keeping loose hair to a minimum. If you can, talk to a breeder or groomer for more tips and tricks. It's necessary to check your clumber daily for rashes, sores, or symptoms of infection such as soreness, redness, or inflammation on the skin, nose, ears, mouth, eyes, and feet while you groom. It's absolutely okay if you can't do this daily. A weekly examination will also assist you in detecting any health concerns early. Because the breed is prone to ear infections, preventative treatment is essential. This may be as easy as cleaning your dog's ears frequently and inspecting the ears for indications of infection such as odor, redness, or soreness. A clumber suffering from an ear infection demonstrates it by shaking his head or scratching his ears. Wipe out the visible area of the ear gently using a cotton ball dampened with a cleaning solution indicated by your veterinarian. Never place cotton swabs or anything else into the ear canal as this might cause an injury that could become fatal. Brush your clumber's teeth at least twice a week to eliminate tartar and the germs that live within it. Brushing twice a day is preferable if you want to avoid gum disease and foul breath. Freckles may appear on the nose and at the base of the tail. The breed's white coat may accumulate lots of dirt and debris, so give him a bath as frequently as you believe is necessary. As long as you use a dog shampoo, regular bathing will have little effect on his coat. Just be sure to properly rinse to avoid itching from shampoo residue. If your dog's nails don't wear off naturally, you should trim them regularly. Note that they have become too lengthy if you can hear them clicking on the floor. Short, adequately trimmed nails protect your legs from scratches when your clumber rushes up to welcome you. Generally, it is essential to make grooming a happy experience. As we earlier mentioned, it's typical of clumbers to be content wherever their owner resides, in houses or condominiums, provided they get their daily activity needs of a 20 to 30 minute walk or play. As pups though, it's crucial to limit their activities such as running on hard surfaces, leaping on and off of furniture, sliding around on slippery flooring, and collapsing against the wall. 
Because all of these activities can harm their joints, which are still developing, clubber pups find it hard to stop. He will pursue a ball for as long as you allow him, so it's up to you to regulate his activity. After the sixth or so retrieve, give him a rest. The same applies to the game of fetch, which they love so much. Health you may have to be watchful about some health issues during your clumber's life. It's only natural that your love for your dog will prompt you to give it great medical attention. You may create a preventative health strategy to look for and possibly avoid certain foreseeable dangers. Note, however, that many illnesses and health concerns are inherited, which means they're tied specifically to the dog breed. There's no guarantee that your dog will have these issues. It implies she is more vulnerable than other dogs. Amongst other illnesses, clumbers are prone to colitis or significant intestinal inflammation. If your clumber has soft stools with blood or mucus patches but otherwise seems healthy, he may have colitis. Urgent medical care is needed in this case. Start by placing him on a 24-hour fast, ensuring he gets lots of water, and then feeding him bland foods like chicken and rice for the following several days. Reintroduce his regular diet gradually. Last if your clumber's colitis recurs regularly, see your veterinarian about feeding him a diet designed for dogs with delicate digestive systems or even prescription dog food. We hope you found some helpful information on the clumber spaniel in this video. Let us know in the comments section down below. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you will be the first to know when we post a new pet video. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.